Yo what is up everybody welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how you can get lower ping in almost any game so let's get right into the video. Okay, so before we start with this video, as you guys can see, only 0.3% of you guys is subscribed to my channel. Let's just go ahead and change that, scroll down and make that red subscribe button great because that would really mean a lot to me. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so as you guys hear, today we are going to lower your ping in almost any game. Now, as you might know, this is actually a part two. If you haven't seen the first part, scroll down, link will be in the description. So let's get right into the first method. Okay, so the first method is actually most of you guys will already have this. But if you're using Wi-Fi, you want to go ahead and switch over to an Ethernet cable because that will literally improve your um, internet speed by like twice or, or 10 times its speed. It will literally just improve so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, with that being said, let's get right into the next actual method. Okay, the next actual method is disabling um, downloads from other PCs and you can do that by searching for allow downloads from other PCs and open it and you want to uncheck this and make sure it's turned off. This basically allows other PCs to download your Windows updates or whatever it wants to download. It's just disable this. This will improve your ping and internet speed so close out of this and let's get right into the next method. Okay so the next method is disabling background services from Windows. So you can do that by uh, searching for a system configuration open it and go over onto services and you want to be careful with this because you might disable something that is actually required to run so be careful with this just do some research on which one you uh, want to stop there, there's a lot of them that are unnecessary so you can stop like if you don't use one sync just check this one and click disable so just just go through this do some research and disable whatever you want to disable this will help improving your ping and lower your latency so let's get right into the next method okay so for this method we are going to disable some windows services that are unnecessary so we'll go ahead and scroll down and there will be a link in the description to a download then you will download this file once you downloaded it you want to uh, extract it onto your desktop so extract files and once you've done that you want to double click on it and you'll have this folder okay then you will have some files in here you don't want to run every single one look if you like for example if you use one drive you don't want to run this one because it will obviously disable it but these um first two the rag files you want to run them because they are basically useless so just double click on them and click yes Click OK, then for the second one, do the same thing, click yes once again, and click OK, there you go. Now if you don't use OneDrive, you want to run this one as well, it will obviously lower your ping as well. So just run it if you don't use it, but if you do use OneDrive, do not run this. And if you actually want to revert any of these, there will be another link in the description with a revert file that will restore your um, registries that you just deleted. So just go ahead and disable these and that will basically be it for um, this method. So let's get right into the last method. Okay, so the last method is actually updating your network driver onto the latest version. So you can do that by going onto device manager and go over onto network uh, adapters and right click on your um, adapter, click properties click driver and click update driver then just click on search automatically for drivers and it will say the best drivers for your device are already installed but this does not check the latest drivers uh, so if you actually want to get the latest one you want to go ahead and head over on to Google Chrome and look for um, your drivers name so in my case it's Realtek so just look for real tech ethernet driver there you go and click on the first link and then just download the windows 10 auto installation program so just click download yeah you have to fill in your email so let me just do that then you just want to fill in this captcha 
it go. Okay, so once it's done downloading, you want to put it onto your desktop and extract it on your desktop as well. So just open the folder and scroll down and run setup.x as administrator and just go through the installation process and if it asks you this you want to just click on um, repair because this will reinstall it and if you have the option to click update just click update but i don't have that so i'm just going to click repair and click next and go through the installation process and that will basically be it so that was it for today's video. Hope this video was helpful. If not, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And if it was helpful, drop that like and subscribe to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.